What is up, everybody? I'm here today to show you one of my favorite ways to use up leftover pulled pork. Stay tuned. One of the questions I get the most often is what do I do with leftover barbecue? If there's a lot, I'll take some to work, give it away to friends or people that work with me or I'll freeze it long-term, stick it in the freezer until I need it. I did a video with some leftover pulled pork and some egg rolls. I'll put a link to that up in the corner. But yeah, one thing you're gonna to want to do definitely is to get a sous vide machine. Just a little simple thing, you put it in some water and it keeps your food at a constant temperature in the water. And also, because it's in sous vide, it's not gonna dry out. It's never gonna get over the temperature you set the water to. So I'll just put this in, set it for 125. Let's go ahead and put this in the water. Plug our machine in. Set the temperature. Gonna do 125, like I said. Hit start. Put the cover on. keeps the water from evaporating. Like and you can do this for a couple hours until the until your barbecue is warm again. Or you can do it when you go to work, come home and everything is just done. So after a couple hours, I'll bring you back and show you the finished product. It's been about 3 hours now. Trying to go ahead and get this turned off. And see here I added our queso. To the, just put it in a plastic baggie and add it to the water. Let's reach in here to this hot water. And pull this out. Put this off to the side. See there, I have some perfectly temp pulled pork. That is gonna make delicious nachos. Let's go ahead and get these built. I'm just gonna use a little, little sheet pan. Put some chips down. Some of this pulled pork. Get this cheese out of the bag. Add some shredded cheese. some of this broken taco jalapeno jazz. This stuff is great. It's just, just at a local market. Should be available nationwide, just not the easiest thing to find. Okay, then we'll do some more chips. more of our queso. More pulled pork, of course.
more shredded cheese. Just add all of it. Some more of our jalapeno. Okay, I'm going to put this in a preheated oven, 350 degrees, for about 10 to 15 minutes until everything's nice and melted, and I'll bring you back. All right, after about 10 minutes, this is what we're left with. Go ahead and finish these off. Put some guacamole. And some of my favorite taco sauce, which is this uh, habanero chili sauce. And of course it wouldn't be barbecue nachos if you didn't put some barbecue sauce on it. And there you have it. If you have some leftover barbecue, whether it be brisket, pulled pork, anything else you can imagine, to store it on some nachos. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you're new here, consider subscribing for me. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching.